Can I have the lights off, please? This is an exciting day. So fifth graders have been working on their place since January. Yeah, and this is their first time doing a play because they were in third grade during COVID year. So they didn't get to do the third grade play. And last year, lower school wasn't doing plays. So this is their first time. And they're really excited. So I hope that you enjoy the program. Parents, I want to say thank you so much for lending me your kids all these years. It's kind of a bittersweet moment when it comes to fifth grade play, because I know that I won't be having them in the years forward. But I want to thank you for all the help that you've done and all the support that you've given. And it's evident how much you love your kids by how much you're always helping and, and um, coming up to do things. So I want to say thank you, parents. So here's what we've got going on this morning, okay? So we have two plays. We're going to start off with Mrs. Moore's play. play. They're both Cinderella versions. Only one is kind of different. So, um, and what happens is the first, the first group does their play, and then it just continues right on into the second one. Okay? All right. Well, girls, come on down. And we have a welcome to the fifth grade play. Now, folks, I know y'all are all snuggled in, ready to watch our Cinderella plays, but we got a version of Cinderella y'all ain't never seen yet. Y'all ever wondered what might happen if Cindy was a city girl and the prince was a prize with a deer whisperer from the country? I mean, doesn't every city girl we should compare the deer whisperer from the country? Well, that's what we got here, folks. We decided we's gonna try something a little different on her size. This here story is about Cindy, Uncle Johnny, Aunt Zilla, and of course our prize with a deer whisperer, Bubba. Now, I know what you all are thinking. Bubba, really? You can't have a Cinderella story with a prince named Bubba. But yes you can, and yes we do. This is our version, and we like to call it Country Ella. So listen up and stop your gathering. Ella's fixing to arrive from the big city. Brady, open that there, curtain. And so again, Ellen's visit 
to the country. Weeks went by and she was doing every chore that Nilly and Nilly used to do. But things was about to change. Because right about this time in our story, the mailman brings a letter to the door. And you can reckon this is an important letter, because they ain't had no letters to the door in over two years. Make the parents? It's all about my tent here 
Thanks a lot for this new episode tonight. Come on, boys, let's get it going.
are from door to door all over the country looking for us. But none of the county girls knew knew the password to the locket. Just then, Bubba knocked on the lady door.
Now, folks, at this point of our play, we've got a, um, we've got something fancy spitty folks like to call a sad chime. This is where one's backstage running around like a teenager chasing pizza. <laughs>
Well, I know she wears the same pair of shoes as me. And she likes her shoes on Amazon. Easy. We got her. Don't get too drunk. We'll be seeing the church tomorrow. Hey, thank you for coming up. Here's my sister, Kyrie. She comes with us.